Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can add bookmarks to libraries and folders by using the Add Shortcut to OneDrive button. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. This is actually a relatively new feature we now have in SharePoint Online. Uh, we have the Sync option, of course, and we have the Add Shortcut to OneDrive uh, button now, and they sound similar, all right? Uh, they, it sounds like they do the same thing, but they're totally two different features. So the sync option, and I actually recorded a video on uh, the sync feature. This synchronizes the entire library to my uh, Windows Explorer, to my computer. So essentially, if I were to press the sync button, the entire library would appear under, you know, essentially uh, on my uh, uh, C drive uh, and. Uh, uh, the building icon with the company name. Uh, and these are my personal, you know, private files synchronized from OneDrive. These are all the different libraries. Uh, apparently, I only have one synchronized from uh, SharePoint. All right. So it just physically brings stuff, um, you know, over to your C drive. That's what Sync button does. Add shortcut to OneDrive is a totally different feature. Like I said, the relatively new feature that we now have. Uh, and let me show you what it does. It allows you to create a bookmark to a particular folder or a library uh, within your OneDrive. So let's say on this site I have this library and a bunch of folders, but you know what? I always spend time in this folder, all right? Uh, that's the only folder that I really walk in out of this whole library. So what I can do is this. I can click the checkbox and I can click Add Shortcut to OneDrive. And what will happen? it will actually just bookmark this folder uh, and create a bookmark, a link to this folder from my OneDrive for Business account. So if I now navigate to my OneDrive, let me open it up. Obviously, this is this are uh, all the folders I have. They're all private folders that I have in my OneDrive. But if you notice right here, I now have this folder bookmarked. It uh, even shows a little um icon you know um link icon uh, overlay over the folder and if you notice um it actually tells me that you know who owns this folder the site by the name of hr team this is where it belongs and all it is it did not copy the file so i want to make sure you understand when i created this add shortcut to onedrive it did not synchronize anything to my uh, c drive to my windows explorer it did not uh, do that uh, it also did not copy anything to my OneDrive either. Instead, it just created a link. It's a bookmark. So the files still physically reside here on the SharePoint side, here on this in this library. It just created a bookmark. So when I click here, uh, it shows me all the files and folders that I have inside of this um, you know, folder. But again, the files physically still belong on the SharePoint side. It just pretty much surfaced them up here. Uh, in my OneDrive. Um, and that's pretty much the objective of this uh, button. Uh, it's just to create shortcuts, uh, bookmarks uh, to frequently used content. Uh, now, very important couple of things about this. You cannot create shortcuts to files. As if you notice, I want to you know, bookmark this file. You see this option is gone. I can only uh, bookmark a particular folder, or you can also bookmark uh, the entire library. So, for example, you know what? I want to bookmark the entire library. Um, you can do that too. All right. Uh, and actually, uh, it tells me here because it actually tells me that I already have a bookmark to one of the folders inside of this library, this one, right? Uh, and it just tells me, do you want to replace this shortcut with this new one? So, yeah, why don't we do that? And uh, essentially, let's see what should have happened here. All right, so it removed that bookmark to one of the folders. Instead, it created the bookmark uh, for the entire uh, document library. Again, if I click here, you will pretty much you know, see the entire library from the convenience of my OneDrive, all right? So if I work on this library or a particular folder frequently, I don't even need to navigate and you know uh, to all the different sites. I can just bookmark the folders and libraries I want and access them here from a single location. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.